Pip and Potter are the best of friends. They've spent their whole lives together. They live in a special place where they can be safe and free. Their lives weren't always this simple. They had a rough start to life. They were bred to be eaten. They didn't even make it that far because they weren't growing fast enough. So they, along with 40 other piglets, were destined to be killed in a gas chamber and discarded. Fortunately, a nearby resident heard about them and negotiated their rescue. They didn't have a sanctuary, but they were determined to give these piglets another chance. That was just the beginning of their new lives. They still had to find a home. Fortunately, a place called Uplands Peak Sanctuary offered to take them in. So one of their volunteers drove 12 hours each way through day and night over multiple state borders to come and get them. We're driving back with our two newest residents. Woohoo! Heading to freedom! It was a tiring journey full of lots of naps and snorts. All of a sudden they woke up and they were there. They were eager with excitement to check out their new home. The other animals at Peak were happy to wake up and say hello. Some of the animals weren't sure what to think. They couldn't wait to explore all over, ears flapping everywhere. course have their first breakfast together, which they were happy to share. They had all kinds of new friends to meet, not just other pigs. It's difficult to know exactly what an animal is thinking, but it's pretty safe to say Pip and Potter are happier with their future at peak. They seem to be thankful for those who gave them a second chance at life. Animals seem to love it out at peak. There's all kinds of new experiences for Pip and Potter to have with their new friends. They recently got to see snow for the very first time. They felt the cold snow on their feet and the crisp, fresh winter air on their snouts. Even with all this new excitement with the snow, they didn't forget to come over and say hello. Now that they're living at peak, their individual personalities can start to shine through. It's important we don't forget about the other animals. Like our other animal cousins, Pip and Potter experience life. They each have their own unique personality, and their lives are irreplaceable. They are not a means to an end. They are an end in themselves. Thanks to the NC42 Save Initiative and the team at Peak, they will get to live out their days safe and free, just like all animals should. There's no biological requirement to eat or use animals. So if we don't have to do it, and it's not necessary, why would we violate their rights by needlessly breeding and killing them? Choose vegan. For the opportunity to help the animals at Peak, visit uplandspeaksanctuary.org. Please share.